Hello, welcome to another video of Code Snippet. This is basically the continuation of last video where we have started looking into Spring Security Authorization. So in the last video, we have seen the architecture of authorization and in this particular video, we are going to see the implementation of authorization. So let's get started without wasting any time. This is going to be a fun video. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Alright, so let's quickly jump into the agenda. Agenda is pretty simple. Spring security authorization implementation, right? So we are going to implement that. So how we are going to implement that? We will add. So first we will add roles. After that, we will add permissions. After that, we will implement get authorities method in order to return these new roles and permissions. After that, we will add few request matcher rules and test them out. So that is basically the simple agenda. So if you remember in the last video, we have seen this particular architecture of Spring security authorization. So if you haven't checked that video yet, I will recommend go ahead and check it out. I will put the link in description. So if you see over here, we have also looked into these roles and permissions. So this is basically the role and this is basically the permission that we have over here, right? Now what we need to do, we need to implement this, right? So let's jump into the code directly. So we have this particular code that we have seen in the last video, right? Here, if you see in the last video, we have added this simple request matcher in order to have a quick debug session and understand what exactly is going on when we actually make use of this authorization and we have also seen what is authorization manager, right? But here, if you see in the users, we are adding this particular role as a string. We are not making use of any permission. So what we will do now, let's first go ahead and add these three permissions, right? So what I will do, I'll create a new enum saying permissions, right? So there we go. We have this enum and now I will add few values over here. So as we are in a weather application, I will say weather read, weather write and weather delete, right? So these are basically three permissions that we can give over here. So we have a permission enum, right? So that is basically it for permission. Now what we can do if you go inside user, then you will see that role we are providing in this user is basically a string. So this also can be converted to a enum. So what I will do, I will just add a new enum saying role, right? There we go. So we have added this role, right? And I will quickly create a couple of roles over here. Let's say first is admin. Another is user, right? So we have a couple of roles over here, right? Now what we need to do, we need to assign this role with one or more permissions, right? So what we need to do, so one way of doing that would be attach this particular enum with the set of permissions, right? So what we need to do, I will just create a set of permission over here. Set of permissions, I will call it as permissions and I will make this guy private final, right? That will ask me to create a constructor for it. And now we have created constructor. We need to define permissions to each of this particular enum, right? So admin, what permissions we need? Let's say here we need read, write and delete, right? So what I will do, I will just create a set dot off and I will just add permissions dot read, permissions dot write and permissions dot delete, right? So three permissions I will add over here. So we have added three. And this guy also we need to create or attach few permissions. So let's say set of set dot off and I will add permissions dot read, right? So only one permission we will give to this particular user, right? And what we can do, we can just add a quick getter over here as well so that we can get the permission attached to certain enum, right? That is basically the enum that we have created. Simple stuff, right? So we have created permissions and we have created enum, right? Now next what we will do, we will go to our users and here in the user, we will first thing we will do, we will convert this particular string to this particular enum that we have created, right? Now the moment I do that, multiple strings will cry over here. First thing is basically your getter and setter. So I will remove this. What I will do, I will say command N and I will create new getters and setter for roles. Right? So get role, set role. And another important thing is this simple granted authorities, right? So that is something we need to change now, right? Now get authorities, we need to pass roles plus permissions, right? And this won't work now because it's not a simple string. Now this is an important method which tells Spring that what authorities this particular role has, right? And by authorities, I mean the role plus permissions, right? So we need to provide that over here, right? And this particular method returns the object of simple granted authority, right? So if I press control Z over here and show you what we had earlier, so it returns simple granted authority, right? So what we will do, we'll just create a set over here, set of simple granted authority. 
and we will call it let's say authorities and i will just create a new i will just create a new hash set right and what i will do now i will remove this now we have this set right and what we need to do we need to return this particular authorities from here right and that is basically our job but now this map is empty what we need inside this particular map we need to set few simple granted authorities for each role right now in order to do that what we will do we will say authorities so first what we will do we will just add a role so what we will do we will just create a new simple granted authority for that particular role so now what i will do i will just add this particular prefix over here and plus i will say given role dot name right so this will just return the name the string format of that particular name right and and if you see over here this is basically role format so we need to add something called as enumerated that means i want this to be converted to string right so we will just say enum type dot string over here so that when we store this particular guy inside a database it will be stored in a string format right so this particular annotation is necessary when we want to store it inside a database right so that is basically enumerated and we have added a authority now what we will do we will add permissions now right now each role can have multiple authorities right so what i will do i will just make use of add all and here i will add a collection now here what we will say role dot get permissions so here is when that get permission method that we have added will come into picture right and i will say get permission and i will create a stream out of it because each permission we need to convert into simple granted authority right so what i will do i will make use of a map function what that map function will do for each permission what we will do we will return a new simple granted authority and we will just add that permission over here in the string format and at the end we will make use of collect function and just return that particular set now what exactly is happening over here we are adding permissions to this particular authorities right in order to do that what i did i did add all then i extracted permissions right extracted permissions from this particular role right what we can do instead we can just extract this as well so what i will do i will just say right click refactor and i can introduce a variable right so here we will say permissions so now this is basically better now there are duplicate variables so let me just again refactor and rename this guy i will say permission authorities and now this particular set i will set inside this particular authority so all the authorities present inside this particular set will be added inside this particular authorities now this particular simple granted authority will have a list of role for each role whatever permissions we have let's say the role is admin right then for the admin role what permissions we have we have these three permissions so these three permissions also will be added into authority right for each role that particular role and the list of authorities will be added inside this particular authorities and whenever spring will make use of this get authorities it will get all the simple granted authorities role as role admin and permission as read write and delete right if the user is this particular user then it will just get two elements role plus read so that way we are adding the list of role plus permissions inside this particular authorities right so this is only the important step over here right now we have added the authorities now what we need to do we need to just add few request matchers over here and we are fine now here what we can do is we can add role based rule or we can add a permission based rule as well for example this particular rule that you see over here is a role based rule right because we are just giving a role over here now we can give the enum as a role because we have created a enum right so i will just say role dot admin now we have added this right so now this admin will be able to access this particular endpoint right similar to what we have seen in the last video right or if i say user then user will be able to access this particular guy right but this is related to role right what we want to do we want to add rules related to permissions as well so what i will do i will completely remove that and let's go to our controller so we have weather controller right so we have this weather controller and let's say all the get mappings over here all the get request i want to be accessed by our user right so user will be only able to access your get request right 
and your admin will be able to access post mapping delete mapping whatever it is right so let's say that is something we want to implement so let's go over here into security config and here what we will do now we will add new request matcher right and here what i will do i will just give the pattern right so i will just say weather slash star star right and before that i can pass http method as well for example for http get right if the method is http get and the pattern is this then i want to give authority has authority as i will just add a permission over here which permission weather dot read and that needs to be in the string format so what is happening over here if the http method of that request is get and the pattern is this then only allow if the user have weather read permission now let's say we have a user with admin role right then that admin have weather read permission so that admin will be able to access this particular get request of weather right and let's add another one now now things will be more clear now what i will do i will add another one and this time i will say post now the post request will be accessed by someone who have right now if you see over here the user which have user as a role only have permission as weather read that guy do not have permission as weather right so that guy will not be able to access this particular post request now i will add another one for delete and i will add delete over here so we have added that now what i will do i will just quickly run this particular code before doing that let's go over here into this particular command line runner why we are using this we are using this to create users inside our application right so here if you see I'm creating a new user, giving it name as admin, giving this password as admin1234 and giving this particular role. Now role is our enum. So I will add that particular enum over here. Now let's add another user. I will just replicate this guy. I will just say user, right? Instead of admin, we will say user now. Instead of this particular password, let's say user1234 right and here we will give user as a role and we will save that as well right so now we have two users right and i will restart this application now if you see over here our application is started now let's go back to postman and let's test so if you go over here so this is basically let's first get the token right so where is the token request there we go so this is basically the token request right now let's create a token for admin right so i will just send it and i will copy this token and i will go over here and we have this particular get request what i will do i will go to authorization i will add that particular token and i will send so we are getting this particular output now that the weather of pune is sunny right no problem so get will be able to access right because admin because admin have these three roles so if you go over here admin have read write and delete and admin can add the weather as well for example let me convert this guy to post and post request does not need any argument it needs a body so what i will do i will just say mumbai now and mumbai is raining with 15 degree celsius let's say so what i will do i will just add this particular detail now so this detail is added right and if i do get and now if i do get with the key as mumbai then we will see that we are getting rain in 15 degree celsius now what we will do we will go back to our authenticate api and i will create the token for user right so user i will create and i will say user 1234 and i will just send it so we got this new token now i will go ahead and add this token to our get request there we go and we are getting the output because our user also have permission to read but now let's try to post right let me go to post over here and i will go inside this authorization add this particular token now we have added it now let me try to add weather for delhi delhi is also raining with let's say 10 degree celsius so basically delhi right so let's try to add it did i change the header let me just make sure that and i will send it now if you see we are getting 403 forbidden because this particular user right the this particular user that we have just created do not have permission to write that guy only have permission to read 
right so this user will not be able to create weather inside your application rather only be able to get it right so get is working but post is not right and same thing will happen with delete so if you go over here add this particular header let me go to authorization say bearer token this particular token and try to hit this particular request that guy will not be able to hit that right but in case if i get the token from admin and copy it and go to delete paste this particular new token that we have created and try to delete it then we will see that it is able to delete getting 200 okay so that is basically something which is happening over here and that is how we can make use of roles and permissions pretty simple stuff right so we are making use of this request match and this is related to permission we can add related to roles as well for example let's say request matches same path i will add and now if i say has role and then it will try to look for the role right so admin will be able to access any api within this particular weather so that's how role based authentication and that's how permission based authentication works but now consider a scenario when you have thousands of api inside your application thousands of pattern inside your application how you are going to add all those things over here right that is the problem your filter chain will be like huge right so you cannot really do that so in order to do that something called as let me go back over here in order to do that something called as method security comes into picture so if you see over here this is basically the method security and annotations called as pre-authorize and post-authorize comes into picture in that case so these two annotations are very very important inside spring security so that is something we are going to cover in the upcoming video right so in this particular video we have seen we have seen the implementation we have added roles we have added permissions we have implemented get authorities we have added request matcher rules right that is basically how you can implement authorization so i hope you have clear understanding of how we can implement spring security authorization if you like the video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to code snippet share this video with your friends so that they also are aware about how to implement spring security authorization that's it for this video see you in the next video